Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. It's Sunday morning just after 7 a.m. and we are at our home spot. We got a bunch of snow last night that was not in the forecast and it's windy, woohoo! So we're hoping to kite at home today. A lot of people are heading up north to snow kite, but you know what? We don't want to drive two hours, we're lazy, so we're gonna make it work here. <laughs> When you have snow and pure ice, that's not working. It's in Norway. We just wasted two hours of time, but at least we're getting a pretty, pretty sunset, huh? Sunrise. Sunrise, sunset. <laughs> All right, so we tried Kipling. It didn't quite work. We had three of the four things needed. So we had wind, we had a frozen lake, we had fresh snow, but we didn't have a base. So he was basically just sliding around on his butt and it was no good. So we met up with Sergey, we hopped in his car, and now we're heading up north to Aurelia. It's about an hour and a half drive. We should be there hopefully shortly and it should be perfect conditions, four out of four there. snow and a lot of wind. It was actually our second day in a row. Previous day we were also up in Aurelia and we had light wind session which was also a lot of fun. Much different because there was no snow and we were on much bigger kites but still a great time. It's really hard to come by perfect conditions for snow kiting which is why not a whole lot of people are able to snow kite. Um, but I think 10% of kiters who kite on water are able to snow kite and I think a large part of that is due to conditions. Also too, it's really tiring because you feel every bump on the ice and when you bail, it hurts. There's no, there's no lying about that. Um, <laughs> you're landing on a hard surface and yeah, it's not, not the same as water. But can't complain, we had a great weekend and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, leave a comment below and we'll see you next time. Cheers, bye. <laughs>